Okay, what we've got here is a little house that we're starting out in the county. Um, this is going to be a split four with about 1,023 feet on the main level, three bedrooms, two full baths, um, and an unfinished basement. Um, we're out here in Washington County, Tennessee, and we're going to give you the step-by-step -step on how we're going about doing it. So far what we've done is we've staked off the house with the surveyor, and I've had the, the state septic tank inspector come out and approve our septic layout uh, because this is not city sewer out here and so we've gone ahead and started digging the basement and throughout the course of the next 90 days or so I'm gonna let you follow uh, more than likely most of the steps of building this house so stay tuned and watch it go up okay guys this is day two on that uh, little house I was telling you we we're building out here in the county this is a super simple house plan for anybody that's a first time builder. Maybe you're building your first house or going into business and you're looking for an easy house to build for your first go at it. Uh, it's super simple. Basically there's four corners on the house, small foundation, everything's fairly inexpensive to do. Um, we were able to dig these footings today using a bobcat. It took an hour and a half so it's very inexpensive. The amount of concrete it took to fill the footings was eight yards right on the button so we're looking good there. It's inexpensive and super quick. Um, let me show you a little bit about what we've got. These are these right here are um, excuse me. These are two foot wide footings. They're uh, they're eight inches deep, uh, which is what the plan called for. Right here, you're looking at what is a step in the foot foundation footings. Um, those are eight inch increments, so they line up perfectly with the block as you go around doing different courses of the block, uh, and just to stay with undisturbed soil as you're going along. Um, so there's a handful of those throughout the foundation. Um, over here in this corner is a, um, this is your grounding wire right here, copper, number four copper. It's uh, tied to and looped around a 20-foot piece of rebar, um, which is local code around here. That's not going to be, some areas are going to let you use uh, just a regular grounding rod, um, but this is what they require around here, so that's what we do. Uh, if you look around at it, you'll see that it's a nice, clean layout here on the footings it's super flat everybody did a good job today um, looking good that's going to be a retaining wall up in the front this will be the garage area and you know stepping down stepping down again and again over there of course it steps back up as you go go along to keep it with the undisturbed soil so really happy with the way it's going so far and stay tuned and uh, next thing we'll be doing is uh, having a surveyor come out and put the corner pins in and then uh, we're going to have some block delivered and have the masons out here to start uh, rocking and rolling on the foundation. Thanks a lot. Stay tuned.